Resources classes. This is Ashmita, and in today's class, we are discussing about the general studies paper of the ISS and the IES 2022. Now, uh, this general studies paper uh, has a couple of questions over here. We are going to solve only one question in today's class, and that's number 1D. Like, we are not solving like randomly, rather, we are following. Uh, like one by one, but we are not going to solve each of these questions in one class. Rather, we are doing a series of videos through which we are going to provide you with answers for all the questions. So here we are focusing only on number 1D from the 2022 paper. And uh, if you have given this exam or if you have seen the practice papers or the sample papers, here yeah, you have to write within 200 words. All right. You have to focus and adhere to the word limit. Uh, you cannot cross it or you cannot write less. Otherwise, it would be marked uh, on less numbers. So here the question is, evaluate the role of the Indian National Army. That's the INA in the freedom struggle of India. So what was the role of the INA in the freedom struggle of India from the Britishers? Okay, so let's get to see what can we write over here. Here, uh, you know, I'm not going to provide you with all the sentences that you can write rather I would be telling you what points you can include okay just write 200 marks answer what points you can just incorporate so yes let's get to the answer this is number 1d that we are discussing from the 2022 paper and we have all read the question this is from the general studies paper the indian national army also known as the azad hind forge was an armed force formed by indian nationalists in 1942 through the patronage of the imperial japanese army to secure the independence of india so the role the first thing about the role is that they wanted to secure the independence of india that should be the primary focus while the whole nation was engaged in the August movement, so during that time, August movement was going on, the struggle for independence was carried on by uh, Subhash Chandra Bose outside the frontiers of India. So now comes the main uh, like person of this uh, movement, that's the uh, Subhash, that's Subhash Chandra Bose. The Indian National Army and Subhash Chandra Bose were playing their significant role um, in the freedom struggle of India. So National Army, Indian National Army, that's the INA. And next we are coming to Netaji, Subhash Chandra Bose. Okay. Subhash Chandra Bose was one of the foremost among the nationalist leaders of India. Brave and youthful, he possessed excellent organizing capacity. Okay. So he actually managed this entire INA. He was born on 23rd of January 1897 at Katak town to a pleader father that Subhash Chandra was then Subhash Chandra was uh, like selected into the ICS that's the Indian Civil Service after a brilliant academic career in his service when he was called upon to take an oath of allegiance to the crown he refused to do so and left the job in 1921. During his college career, he had shown what he was going to be when he be when he met an Englishman, black and blue, for his having criticized the culture of India. So, so purposefully, the Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bose just hit this man, black and blue, severely injured him. All right. The INA inspired many youths in India when knowledge about their activities and motivations were released to the general public. So this INA, uh, like uh, uh, the, the primary focus of this INA was to attain independence, but before that, just to ignite the feeling of nationalism among the youths in India. And it successfully did that. The INA and some of its important personnel would go on to impact many facts of uh, South Asian history like the Lakshmi Segal, John Thaivi, and Janaki Athena Happan. INA also generate patriotic feelings in the hearts of many national leaders and the masses and caused uprisings in Bombay and Calcutta. 
So it was because of I of this I N A only that uh, caused like um, uprisings in Bombay and Calcutta. Though they have they, they have a memorable impact on the culture of India, though they were not given the official title of freedom, uh, official title of freedom fighters post independence. Subhash Chandra Bose played an important role in the INA and to the national movement. His role is commendable in the freedom struggle of India because he proved that apart from non-violent act resistance, Indians could explore the armed struggle as well as it could also give serious threats to the British army. It gave a major boost to the mainstream nationalist moral and it also motivates the efforts of the non-violent nationalists towards Indian independence. You can talk about these things also. The main motto, so here we are talking about the main motto of the INA, which was unity, faith and sacrifice. And their contribution was to secure Indian independence from the British rule. The INA was revived under the, under the leadership of Subhash Chandra Bose. Then this army was declared the army of the Bose's RZ Hukumati Azad Hind. So the um, yeah, so these were the contributions of the INA to the national movement. So that was it for today's class. That was the answer that you can uh, like incorporate, and uh, you can also add your own points along with it. And yeah, mostly whatever highlights I have given, it would definitely lead to a two hundred words answer. Uh, you can also add your own points. Yeah, so that's it for today's class. If you want to ask anything, if you have any queries, you can just post down below in the comment box. You can also go over to the official website of our classes. That's the www.sorofsersclasses.com. You can uh, just have a glimpse of our classes through this website and uh, if you are preparing for any kind of entrance exams or any kind of competitive exams, you can just uh, join our classes and we are going to provide you with all the guidance that is required. Um, yeah, rigorous preparation through classes, live sessions, recorded sessions, mock tests, uh, crash course facilities, everything we are going to provide you with the help of expert teachers. That's it for today's class. We're going to meet once again with the rest of the uh, like uh, continuation of the question paper again in our next classes.